This is Joel Greenblatt, and he's one of the most successful value investors of all time, with an estimated net worth of over $600 million. Greenblatt's investment strategy is very simple. Buy great companies at a great price. And this is how he developed what he calls the magic formula, which is a series of sub steps that you can follow to find those companies and invest in them the proper way. If you want to check out that video, the link is in the description. Now, one of the main components of the formula is to be able to calculate and understand the return on invested capital. Stocks like Home Depot uh, are, well, Home Depot a duopoly. It's got an above average business uh, trading cheaper than the market, uh, huge returns on capital uh, relative for the retail business. They're, they only, Lowe's is their only main competitor. I mean, really hard to get a better setup or business than this. So, you know, the market overall is expensive, but this is a better business on average than the market and also cheaper. So it's a pretty great deal. I mean, there's only Airbus is their only competitor. Uh, it's got a earns uh, returns on capital that are quite high for, you know, capital intensive business. As you can see, one of the main ways in which Joel Greenblatt is able to determine if a company is of good quality is the return on invested capital. Now, the return on invested capital is not everything that you need to make a good investment, but it is a great indicator to be able to determine if a company is of good quality. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can calculate this important metric and most importantly, how you can use it to find valuable investments to make. The formula Joel uses is he takes the EBIT, the earnings before interest and taxes, and he divides that number by the net working capital and the next fixed assets of the company. To calculate the return on invested capital, you can use a source of data like the SEC to get the financials for the calculation, or you can use a tool like Ysheets, which will provide you automatically with all of the data that you need and also give you the number automatically. To calculate the return on invested equity for Apple, all you gotta do is navigate right here to the income statement, and here you will find the operating income. This is the same thing in our data definition as the EBIT. So all all we have to do is take that number so we can just say equals this and then what we're gonna do is we're going to add the fixed assets uh, this is a little bit up to your discretion of which assets that you want to include but all the fixed assets are listed right here on the balance sheet and they're found in the non-current assets of the balance sheet so you can see these are the different options just to simplify the process what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of them so for that all I have to do is take the the total non-current assets right here and then what we need to add uh, this is going to be found on the key metrics or can also be calculated based on the financial statement but it is the working capital so we add the working capital to this we just need to make sure to put this in brackets so that way the order of operations is right we click enter and as we can see right now with this calculation for apple we get a return on invested equity of roughly 55.14 percent as you can probably tell the higher the return on invested capital the higher the quality of the company and the more efficient it is at generating profits for shareholders. Now, when it comes to calculating the return on invested capital, it's not about calculating the number for one particular year, but there's different strategies that I'm gonna show you that are going to allow you to find only the very best investment opportunities. One of the best ways to analyze the ROIC of a company is to analyze a whole bunch of companies in a similar industry and this is because the ROIC of specific companies will vary a lot depending on the industry but what is universal is the fact that the very best companies usually will have the highest return on capital so in order to do that all you have to do is set up the spreadsheet like this with all of the different companies in this case we have a whole bunch of public semiconductor companies and using Y sheets, you can just apply this formula right here where you select the company symbols. Just make sure to use the Yahoo Finance sticker system. Then after that, select ROIC as the parameter.
parameter that we want to get data for and then for the period what i recommend because each of these companies right here have different fiscal years is to use ttm and this is going to give you the latest numbers for all of the different companies so that way you can do a fair comparison you can click enter and as you can see now we have all of these different values for all these different companies right here what we can then do is just take these two columns go to insert recommend the charts and then pick this chart right here maybe we can change the color and then enhance it and this will allow you to quickly find which are some of the best companies in this particular industry and right now we can see that guess what nvidia's ric is of the charts and that's why it's really hot right now now you know how joel greenblatt uses the return on invested capital to find great investment opportunities for himself but most importantly how you can use the same metric to find valuable investment opportunities for you if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification zone so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this and I'll see you in the next one.